The law of assumption is the spiritual law that has completely transformed my life and continues to prove itself in my life over and over and over again. So if you want to learn about how manifesting and law of assumption actually works, keep watching. Hello love bugs. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to help you build a more beautiful and loving and positive life through self mastery and spirituality. And today we're going to talk basics of law of assumption. law of assumption is whatever you believe to be true is but here's the secret okay you have to completely throw logic out the window and that is something that's very hard for us as human beings to do but if you're on here watching my channel into spirituality you've probably already done that to some extent but we have to just completely drop logic okay we're done with it it's over and what do I mean by logic? Well, we have a lot of rules that we have set up for ourselves, that our parents have set up for us, that schools and society and everyone around us that have set up for us that we just follow or assume to be fact, to be true. And we just have to disregard all of that. <laughs> So what are some examples of these assumptions or rules? Money is super hard to make. You have to work out vigorously every single day and eat super clean to lose weight. Another one of my favorites is people never change. That's all crap, but we've been taught to believe that that is true. So that became our belief system, otherwise known as our assumption. And here's the thing. If you believe these things to be true, then they are. But what's so freaking cool about this law is if you train yourself to have new beliefs, then that is true instead. Whatever those dominant thoughts are, whatever those dominant beliefs are or assumptions are, that is what is true for you in your reality. I like to think of the law of assumption as like this big giant placebo. We've all heard of studies done that prove that sugar pills that a group A takes will do the same thing as group B, which is the actual medication takes because group A believes they are taking the whatever pill, whether it's medicinal, weight loss, whatever. And so what happens is they have just about the same sometimes a little different, but just about the same results as the people that are actually taking the pill. And that's because of their assumption that that pill is going to make them lose weight or that pill is going to make them feel better or heal them or whatever it may be. And that's how powerful, powerful, crazy powerful our minds are, is that if we just convince our minds something, that's what projects out into our reality. And that's what people mean when they say that we create our reality. It's all up here. Okay, you wanna think of your, your brain or your mind like a, like a movie projector. Your thoughts are the film. So you're feeding the film or the thoughts into your brain and then whatever those thoughts are are projecting out into your screen, otherwise known as your reality. It's really, so incredible. So all it is, is deciding what do you want to be true in your reality, training your thoughts and training your mind to believe that because it's not gonna happen instantly. It's going to take time because we've been conditioned to believe otherwise. And then watching those things unfold in your life. That's how simple it is. So I've been testing this out for a few months now. I did an example of how to lose weight using the law of assumption a few videos back. But I wanna give you like, a, I'll just give you a small example. So I've done this, I've been experimenting and I've manifested, I don't know, at least 20 things by now in the last maybe two months that I've really been concentrating putting this to the test, okay? So a small example, and you can do this with everything, big things, small things, it doesn't matter. A few weeks ago, I was supposed to go out of town to visit my friend, but if I was staying in town, I was going to go to this event with a friend that lives local. But because I was going out of town, I never bought a ticket to that event. Come two days before this event, I decide, hey, I'm gonna stay in town, I'm not gonna go out of town. 
and she said she was still going to this event, which was hanging out with baby goats. <laughs> so fun. Of course I wanted to go. Like, who wouldn't want to go to that? And so I go on the website, and the tickets are sold out. And immediately I text my friend that's going, and I'm like, ah, oh, the tickets are sold out. And then I caught myself, and I was like, no, that's actually not true in my reality. I'm not even gonna worry about this. I'm, I'm going to this event in two days. It's gonna be so fun. I can't wait to hang out with the baby goats. And I started convincing my mind that the tickets being sold out was not the fact for me was not the fact in my reality. What was my fact? That I was going to this GOAT event. That the answer was going to come to me and that I was going to get to go and I didn't have to worry about it and I'd figure it out easily and quickly. She's like, oh man, I'm so sorry. And I was like, no, it's fine. Like, I'll get to, I'll, I'll be there. Don't worry. 10 minutes later, this thought comes into me. So I live with a few roommates and my two roommates that own this property bought it from this real estate agent who was best friends with the owner of the farm where the goats were. This just randomly came to me like 10 minutes later and I was like, oh. So I text my roommate who texts the realtor who texts the owner of the farm and within 10 minutes, I had a ticket to go to this thing. So that's just a very small example of the magnitude that this can be. I mean, you can do this with money, you can do this with relationships, you can do this with health, you can do it with anything, but you have to put your logic aside. And that's the toughest part. And you might feel a little crazy. Like people, people think I'm nuts, but it works. It works. And that's all I really care about. Like you guys want to think I'm crazy? That's cool. I don't care. I don't care because in my reality, I am learning how to unlock the just powerful mind that God gave us. Like it's just crazy that we can do this stuff. And so I want to share it with you guys so that you can test it out and just create a beautiful life for yourself. So basically in all of this, in the goat example or in any example or anything that you're trying to do using the law of assumption, this is what you do. One, you have the desire. What is it that you desire? What is it that you want? What is it that you want to bring into your life? Two, ignoring the fact that you don't have that thing because that creates a sense of panic, of lack, of feeling like you don't have that thing. And that's kind of a big part of this is you want to like feel and, ha and know, just have that knowing that whatever you don't currently have in your life, you do. So it's like this weird thing where you have to bring it into your reality and just assume that you already have that thing. So ignore the fact that you don't and just decide that you do right now. In this moment, you have that money. You have that job. You have that house. You have that relationship. You have it and you have to convince yourself that. Be delusional. Who cares? This shit works. Next, you want to decide the reality that you want and know that that solution, that idea, that whatever is going to come to you quickly, effortlessly, easily, then you need to truly believe that. So say for example, you're wanting a house. Every time you think of that house or a house or whatever, you just say positive thoughts. I already have that house. Oh, I'm so excited to decorate my new house. I'm so happy that the house I got has the big yard for my dogs. Whatever you're happy about or whatever reasons you want that particular house, you just talk to yourself like you already have it. How would you be feeling? What would you be doing? And then you just allow it to unfold. Allow it to happen. And it will. If you have doubts about it, you must override them. Anytime you have a doubt, you just push it away and overlap it with a positive affirmation like we talked about in my last video. And you just do that over and over and over again in repetition until you convince your mind, you placebo your mind that you already have that thing. You already assume that you have that thing. You can manifest thousands of dollars or you can manifest chilling with some baby goats. I mean, they both sound pretty great to me, so. I did this a few weeks ago. It took me about two months, but I filmed a video. I will put that link up right here. And that is how I lost now 14 pounds in eight weeks 
not changing my diet, not changing my exercise program, and just solely using the law of assumption. So let me know if you guys have any questions, if you're trying to manifest or bring something into your life and you want to use the law of assumption, but you might have some questions on how to do it. If you do, like, please drop it in the comments below. I'd be happy to walk through this with you. I think it's just so exciting. I wish everyone in the world would use law of assumption because we would have such a beautiful, beautiful world if everyone understood the powers and the magnitude of our minds that God provided us. Just believe that you're a powerful manifester and you will be. Assume you are a powerful manifester and you will be. I promise it's so worth it to get into this stuff. It's so worth it to do it because like, the law of attraction to me just didn't really, wasn't really, really wasn't really working for me. And I found this and I've been studying it for about seven months now. And after about four months, I started actually like testing things out and shit's just popping off, popping off, popping off. Like it's working. So I have to share it with you guys. I want you to do this. It's so beautiful. You truly have the ability to create any life that you desire. I love you guys so much and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video so we can hang out again next week. And I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Thank you.